Hello and welcome to this new video in which we're going to look at how to solve a puzzle called Hexalex. Now to solve this puzzle you need to put letters, these letters underneath the grid, into the grid, into each of these empty white hexagons in such a way that you can make each of these words that appear alongside the grid by moving from hexagon to adjacent hexagon. So for instance the word jam must appear in the grid, so it could be J A M or J A M or J A M or J A M and so on. Um, and so you have to uh, whittle down the options over time um, to solve the puzzle. So let's get started. Right, so the typical way to start is to look at the most constrained areas of the puzzle first, which are the corner hexagons with these given letters because they only have two neighbours, the K and the F in this case. So let's look at the K. So look through the words to find what contains a K. So the word suck contains a K and the letter next to the K is the C. So we know that the C has to go either here or here. So you would write that in as a pencil mark. Um, and then the U, so U, C, K, and then the S neighbours the U, so one of these squares contains the S, um, but because that's so many, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm not going to write that in at the moment. Um, I'd only do that if I was desperate to make progress. So let's repeat that process over here with the F. So fry, so F R Y. So one of these two squares contains the R, but does the F appear in any other word? No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, there is also dry, so we know the D must neighbour the F. So there's four options for that. Um, okay, well, let's have a look at the M up here. So it borders an a. So the A must go in one of these squares. And it also borders the P. So the P must also go in one of those squares. And then we have the L, which again can go in quite a few different squares. And the J in quite a few different squares, so I won't mark that for now. Now let's look at the X. Um, Right, okay, ah, oh, perfect, so we can we can place a letter here. So the X just appears in lax, but the A has to neighbour the X. Well, the A can go here, here, or here, but the only shared neighbour is this one. If this was the A or this was the A, then it couldn't also neighbour the X, because that's over here. So we can cross out the A as an option from there or there, and we can write in the A here. And it's always handy to cross off the letter underneath the grid so as to keep track of what we've already placed. And so now we know that the L neighbours the A, and there's three options for that, so uh, I will mark them in like that. Um, and in fact, looking here, only the L also has to neighbour the Y, so that means that can't be the L. It must be here or here, so as to neighbour the Y. Um, okay, so that's the A placed next to the L. The X doesn't appear in any other word. Let's come down here and look at the T. So we know that has to neighbour an O. So the O goes in one of these three. Hot. Any other T's? Yes, there's a T there, so it also must neighbour the I. Um, okay, let's look at the the E down here, which is the last of the givens um, in the bottom and top rows. So the E neighbours the V and the I. Okay, perfect. Well, again, we can use the same trick. We know the I goes here or here. If the I also has to neighbour the E, then the only option is this square. 
So that's our I. We can cross off the I there or there. Let's also be sure to cross it off there. Um, and then we have the V. So the V has to go there or there. So let's see if the V appears anywhere else and we can narrow it down. Nope, it does not. So we can't make progress with that yet. And after the I, we have an N. So the N must go here, here, or here. Um, right, OK. So let's see. We know the N also has to border the L. So these two are OK, because that's a possibility. Um, but this N can't um, actually be uh, where the N really goes, because it's two squares away from an L. So we can cross that out. Now, since the N has to neighbor the L, then this also can't be the L, because it's two away from any possible L. Um, and since we marked in all the possible locations for the L, if that's not the L, then this must be the L. So let's cross off the L, and that gives us lax. So let's cross off lax, and now we have lamp here, or lamp there. Um, now the O neighbors the N, so the only O that neighbors an N is this one here. So that must be the O. And cross that off. Um, and then the N clearly has to go here, so let's write that in. That's the N, let's cross off the N there, and so that's the O placed, and that's the N placed, and that gives us our only um, instance in the grid. So let's just go through now and look at what else we can work out. So the O is neighboured by S and H. Well, it only has two neighbours left, which are these two squares. So these must be the S and H. Um, and you might find it useful when you have two options and you know they are the only options to circle those letters in the grid. So here I've circled SH so that I know if it's not one, it has to be the other. So we have sun and suck. OK, so we can resolve this straight away. Look, the S neighbours the U. Well, this S doesn't neighbour anything, any U. Um, because the U is placed here. So that means this has to be the S. And since we know if that was the S, this had to be the H. And we can mark that S and H. So we now have Sun. Um, suck, we can't resolve. Swan, look, S, W, U. Well, there's only one possible option for the W, because S only has one available empty neighbor. So that's our W placed. Um, S, W, U, N, so this has to be the G to make swan. That's the G placed. Um, now this is going to be R, C. That's going to complete suck. Um, OK, so this is now resolving itself fairly nicely. So let's have a look at what we've got to place. So we've got jam. Well, we can see the A only has one available neighbour there. That's the jam. That now gives us our lamp. So that's the P. Um, now, what is left? So we've got dry, fry, hot. Hot is placed. Um, and we've got the DRVZ. Um, and we've got Look, we've got Zin to place, so the only available neighbour of the I is here. So that's our Zin. Um, we've got Vane, so the only available neighbour of the E is here. So that's our Vane. The unit is already placed. So that just leaves us dry and fry. Well, F has to neighbour R. Only one option. That gives us fry, which leaves a D. Yeah. So let's check we've solved the puzzle. We've crossed off every letter. That's a good sign. Now let's just check the words in the grid. Dry, fry, 
hot, jam, lamp, lax, only, sun, suck, swan, unit, vein, and zim. Okay, great. So that's uh, the puzzle solved. Hope you enjoyed that video and um, it inspired you to try tackling some Hexlex puzzles. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, then please do subscribe to our channel and like the video. And if you do subscribe, then that way you'll get notified when we release further puzzle solving videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.